so today I'm going to be showing y'all my Ancestry DNA results. I've had them for a while now, but I just wanted to show y'all what I got. Um, I should have done something like so y'all could guess, but if you want to pause the video and go comment and tell me what you think I am before I let you know, um, then that'll be fun. So let me tell y'all what I, um, what people usually guess. So I am like what I am. So, I usually get Hispanic, um, especially living up here um, around like New York and New Jersey because there's a lot of different Hispanic cultures and a lot of people just come up to me talking Spanish, speaking Spanish and I have no clue what they're saying. I'm not Hispanic, I am actually biracial, my mom is black my dad is white and um, I'll put a picture up of them obviously on my mom's side we knew that we came from Africa during the slave trade and ended up in Texas uh, somehow and then on my dad's side uh, he always said that he had heard um, Germany German and Irish so that's what I was um, that's what I uh, thought I was or just assumed um, and also to find like it was interesting to find out because my aunt did it before me and we have a grandma well her grandma my great-grandma claimed like that she was um, that her mother was full Cherokee um, and when we did our results we are not Native American especially for it to be that um, close in the bloodline I've had like it was like a low confidence region for me and my aunt so it's really interesting to see that um, and I can post a picture of her as well uh, so yeah I guess I'll get into showing y'all my results all right so and I, I'm looking down on my phone so that's why I'm looking down um, so my highest which they didn't tell me I'm not sure I always thought that they would break it down between like continents first and then like show you how much percentage in that um but if i did my math right it's about like 40 total 40 percent total from africa 50 percent total from europe and like the rest is just like scattered if i if i can remember correctly um but anyway so my highest percentage that it shows is 31 percent great britain which i was really surprised at because I had never heard that before um, and yeah just <laughs> for it to be that high of a percentage that's like pretty cool to me and then the next percentage is Ivory Coast slash Ghana which is 12% um, but for my aunt she got and that she's like my first aunt like my mom's sister and she got um, she got Ghana has like her second or third highest and uh, Ivory Coast slash Ghana was my first highest which I thought that my percentages would reflect hers but just be lower obviously um, so yeah and then my sec my third highest is 12% Scandinavia which I <laughs> I'm, I've never heard of that either all of this stuff is new to me I would have never guessed any of this which is like pretty cool to see that um, and then second highest in Africa is 10% Africa Southeastern Bantu so going back to my aunt that was one of her low confidence regions and this is my second highest which is again like I said really weird that my percentage in this region of Africa would be smaller than her I mean would be higher than hers um, and then obviously like I said, which this reflected what I said, um, the 5% Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And then my low confidence regions, 5% Nigeria, 5% Benin slash Togo, 4% Senegal, 4% Cameroon, Congo, 3% Europe West, which is um, Belgium, France, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. I don't know. Lechenstein, I don't know how to pronounce that that good. 3% um, Europe South, which is Italy and Greece. 
and 2% Native American. Um, and it's actually really, um, really interesting because it says primarily located in North America, South America, and Central America. Um, but somewhere I've seen on here that it was from like Mexico and like southern Texas like they narrowed it down Which is like really crazy because my family's from Texas So it's interesting to see how that like how they were like spot-on with that um, And then how do I get back? Okay, here we go and yeah Neg less than 1% Mali, less than 1% Polynesia, less than 1% European Jewish, less than 1% Europe East, and less than 1% Asia East. So that breaks all of where I'm from down. Um, so now I want to get into like the migrations, which this is a part that I thought was like really cool because it showed, it, sh it really did show like where my family's from because like when you do these tests, you don't put in like your family background you literally just get a tube and you spit in it and then send it back you don't have to fill out anything else about it sorry my lip is like bothering me because i can't find my chapstick and yeah so if i have cracked lips like don't joke me all right so um so okay first off on my dad's side his dad my grandpa his family is from West Virginia. When I seen this, I thought that was so cool because it shows the migration into from Europe into Central Appalachia set up settlers, or, um, and also Eastern Kentucky and Northeast Tennessee settlers, which I thought was like really cool because I didn't tell Ancestry DNA anything about that, and they were able to um, they were able to um, go back and like see the migrations from Europe into the mountains. Um, and then another thing that I thought was really cool with, my, with the migrations is, um, you know, being sent here from Africa to the US. Okay, so we came in obviously around, in Virginia, Jamestown, all that. Um, and my family, it, this is, shows you like, obviously the more dense it is, the more your family is and all that, or like where they were. Um, and we, like I said, we're from Texas and we traveled down south and then went all the way over to Texas and if you zoom in, um, where is it? You can see it better on the, on the, um, oh here we go, I just gotta go a little bit further. So right here. Um, in this little area, it's Waco, Texas, and my my mom's mom, my grandma, is from Waco, Texas. But we're not. We're. I'm not from Waco. I'm from out right outside of Lubbock, and um, yeah, she basically my family moved over there from Waco for jobs. That's what they told me. Um, so it was pretty cool to see this and also um, I have um, my family is from Oklahoma well I have my family has land in Oklahoma so it was pretty cool to see um, like the, t the um, it was pretty cool to see that as well because we're about an hour the land it's about an hour outside of Oklahoma City um, so yeah everything was just pretty cool about this people are kind of skeptical about doing this because it might not be accurate or whatever but I mean nothing is perfect I think that it was um, pretty accurate uh, as, like with the migrations and stuff like that and, like that was cool to see that and to be honest like you're not gonna know exactly 100% your DNA like they're just giving you like a rough estimate I'm, I'm assuming um, so this wraps up the video for today I hope you guys like it and I'm looking forward to seeing the comments um, of what people guessed I was I really hope you guys did that um, so So this wraps up the video for today. Uh, I really hope you guys liked it and 
just me sharing my experience with doing ancestry dna if you're like kind of scared to do or hesitant to spend that money um i would say go for it because i was really excited to do it and my boyfriend's actually waiting to get his results back they're supposed to be back like any second now we're so excited to see that um and yeah i will see y'all next time